Hello everyone, I'm very glad that after a short quiet period you're still watching us. Hope you stay safe and still interested in new information from Java and OpenGDK community. So it's OpenGDK Docs in our library bar. My name is Alice and please meet Alex, the Bellsoft founder, a real and real OpenGDK enthusiast. Uh, nice to see you today, Alex. Finally, Hello, Alice. I'm happy that finally we have we can visit any kind of bar. And uh, today here we'll discuss a really sensible topic, uh, the notoriety of application on macOS. And of course, Liberia GDK notarization got this topic impacted all open GDK dis uh, distributions. And as a bonus for you today, we've pre we prepared a special material. I can even say it's a real guide how you can notarize your uh, Mac application. But first things first, let's start from the definition. Uh, so, Alex, what is notarization? Why is it necessary? Yeah, uh, a notary, generally speaking, uh, witness who the people signing the documents are. Mm -hmm. They uh, do have a registration books where we register where they notice such events, mm -hmm. and all that uh, creates the third-party uh, infrastructure of trust. So people could trust each other using notary. Mm -hmm. And uh, the same concept could be applied to software also. So uh, the notarization process is a trust infrastructure to make sure that the software we use every day is what uh, it reported to be. So then you download the binaries from some website. Mm -hmm. You um, should be assured that the binary wasn't changed and that uh, it's like originally the same as was uh, created by developers. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any malware or like um, viruses or anything else. So uh, notarization requires several steps from developers. Uh, first of all, binaries need to be signed with Xcode or uh, the uh, code sign tool. Uh, Signed object need to be submitted to Apple for automated review. And once reviewed, uh, a ticket is created or not created, depends on the results of the review of the ticket created for the signed binaries. And then that ticket can be stapled to the submitted binaries and uh, this allows the online or offline uh, reviews and checks. Okay, I got it. And what about the process? As far as I understood, uh, there is a special Apple's notary service and it's uh, a, an automated system, is it right? Uh, yeah, Apple does not uh, guarantee you uh, that application will work. Mm -hmm. uh, the notarization process performs some automated tests for known vulnerabilities mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that guarantees that the uh, Developers created that software, they are known developers and like Apple know them and they have a uh, developer ID with, it, with Apple and uh, we registered with Apple and that piece of software uh, keeps the same since it was created and signed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I got it. When, and now let's talk about the developers, about the community. As far as I know, many developers all over the world are just mad about it because um, of this extra burden that Apple puts on them with this recent uh, notarization requirements. So what do you personally think about it? Isn't it too much? Uh, I wouldn't say that's too much. Uh, this notarization process requires some additional effort However, I believe that it pays off, like, because uh, the developers currently are assured that dependencies their application has uh, does not, uh, wasn't changed by some third party. Uh, it, uh, it doesn't have known vulnerabilities and uh, it's also benefit for, uh, for users. Users more willingly install notarized applications, then they uh, uh, does not have any additional questions by gatekeeper and uh, we do not have to take additional risks and make a decision whether like should I install that application or not because 
uh, it was already checked by Apple and Apple like sees that this we know this developer we know they created that application and we didn't get any kind of complaints about these applications that's actually it everything like what what was created this like trust infrastructure and trust is really important in modern like internet and uh, uh, then you install um, application from some developer you do not know is it might be pretty risky and Apple de-anonymize developers in the internet Apple know them and uh, it's guaranteed that we know those guys and they created their right application which that, that works and does not have any viruses for so, example or malware I got it so it's quite hard but quite useful thing yeah that's as 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 I said that's additional effort mm -hmm. but it pays off okay and let's talk about the example about uh, library connectorization what was the process of it uh, Liberta binaries Liberta GDT binaries have been notarized for uh, almost a year since uh, last summer mm -hmm. and uh, yes the open GDK notarization is not an obvious process and the notarization requires signing uh, every binary uh, inside all packages and modules mm -hmm. so we had to do that initially and then after all pieces signed we could sign the whole package and uh, not raise that. Without that, it, it, it doesn't work. And yes, uh, Liberica GDK not raised like Liberica GDK 8, Liberica GDK 11, and uh, currently Liberica GDK 14, all binaries are not raised. And uh, for our customers, we provide additional benefits of using Liberica. Uh, some companies deliver their application, their products, uh, and we do not want to be dependent on uh, uh, the runtime installed in the system. So we would like to bundle uh, their application together with Java runtime. Mm -hmm. And Liberica GDK allows to do that. So we provide uh, special builds for such customers. What we could take, uh, bundle with their application and uh, not rise the whole package, everything like together, uh, Java runtime and their application, which which is the benefit for the end users. We do not have to uh, separately install Java runtime and then application. Yeah. Everything would, would come in one package. It's real cool for customer, I think. And there are some any benefits of library contourization. Uh, as far as I remember, uh, Liberica was the first uh, who, who, did, who did it. Yeah, uh, that's right. As, as I know, we were the first mm -hmm. uh, uh, OpenGDK binary distributor who naturalized our uh, product, our um, uh, installers for uh, macOS Catalina. Mm -hmm. And uh, we see that uh, it's, it's widely used by our users and they, they are happy. No, oh, that's, that's really cool. I think it's perfect. Well, thank you, Alex. Um, I just put the link below the video if our followers would uh, like to ask some questions for uh, Liberia GDK support to learn more about authorization or something uh, about this topic. Uh, well, we got to go, you guys, but I promised a bonus. Uh, you learned about authorization today, and now see how you can naturalize your Mac application with Liberica GDK uh, using Java Packager. Uh, I will leave another link uh, for this guide in the description of this video. Please check it. Uh, and thanks for watching us. If this episode was useful, please like it. Your likes motivate us to create new content. Uh, thank you uh, and hope to see you soon. Bye, Alex. Bye, guys. Bye, Alex. Thank you.